So guys, we're going to talk about open sets in this video and open balls. I would first explain the underlying dynamics with the help of an intuition and then we would go to the mathematics. So when I say an open ball, okay, when I talk about this concept of an open ball, try to imagine it in the 2D case as follows. So if you have a point, x naught, and you draw a circle of radius r around it, then all those points inside of this circle except the boundary point. So that's the reason why I have denoted the boundary with dotted points. Every point inside the circle come under this set and this set is referred to as an open ball. Okay, so the diagram is for the two-dimensional setting. When we have more dimensions, then you cannot imagine it, but you can think of it mathematically. So let us mathematically formulate our definition of an open ball. So if I have a metric space XT, then an open ball around a point X0 is a set of all points in my metric space which are less than a distance r to x naught. So if you consider all of these interior points, you know, everything inside of this. I'm sorry I made the diagram all fuzzy, but you get my idea, you know, everything inside of this except the boundary points. Now when I talk about a closed ball, the idea remains almost the same, but this time I am also taking in the boundary points. So remember in an open ball, it was all such points x which are at a distance less than r. Now when I talk about a closed ball, it's the set of all such points x which is less than or equal to this distance r. Intuitively you can think of a disk in the two-dimensional case in the r square setting the disk is a closed ball if you include all the points inside the disk along with the boundary points it's a closed ball now after this definition of open ball we like to come to the definition of an open set what is this notion of an open set um, if you remember in 1d cases we used to define uh, the notion of open sets as something like this so if I have all the points between 0 and 1, where 0 and 1 not included, this was an open set in single dimension. You know, In R, this was an open set. And if I want to extend this idea to more general setting, I would define it in this way. So intuitively, you have the idea. Intuitively, the idea is this set of all points between 0 and 1, 0 and 1 not included. And in higher dimensions, consider a point x0 and draw an open ball around it. Now a set E is said to be open if around all of its point, around every point x0, x1 till xn, around each of those points of the set E, I can construct a ball of radius epsilon. I can find an epsilon and construct a ball of radius epsilon around each of my points, All right, around each of my points such that this ball is completely contained within E. If a set satisfies this property, then that is said to be an open set.